So we are here at Ink Therapy in Stanford, North Carolina. This is 360 Wilson Road. Um, we are located in Stanford. Um, but we have here uh, Monica from Acidi. I'm going to have her introduce herself to you. All right. Hey, so I'm Monica Soe. Um, and I'm actually the front woman of a band. It's actually a new band here in North Carolina called Aceity. Um, and we're, we're just a metal band. Um, and we actually just released our debut single on January 1st. And hopefully soon we'll be coming up with a new single after that. So be on the lookout for that. And you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram and actually Twitter as well. Awesome. Yeah, I've been hearing some of your work online and just like seeing the rave that everybody's kind of like pushing you up and like, you know, trying to help with other artists and like really sponsor them or like really advocate other artists to be part of their work or like, you know, seeing other artists do more promotions for other artists, you know, yeah. especially guys that are already kind of well off, but also the same fact is like, hey, I want to help somebody. I like their talent. And like, you know, that's how we make it in this world, you know, having right. support by uh, like support groups and like other talent out there. Mm -hmm. But um, I think one of the questions is, is uh, how did you come across Ink Therapy in Sanford? <laughs> well, um, I was actually like, oh, I can't remember 100 percent, but I was looking up, you know, tattoo artists in North Carolina because I'm new to the area. And I was like, well, you know, I want somebody that's going to be good. You know, I don't want just anybody to do my art because, I mean, it's permanent. You know, I'm going to have it forever. Yeah. And, um, you know, I wanted someone that I believed in because, you know, being a vocalist of a metal band, you know, like I want to be able to promote whoever I'm working with. So, you know, like I want to be able to tell people like, hey, yeah, I get my tattoos from Nico and, you know, he does a fantastic job. And, you. you know, you're going to see these in like videos and photos and all that. So I had to, you know, I had to make sure that I got someone that would give me, you know, good quality. Absolutely. So. Well, one of the things is I don't typically am the one on the camera uh, feature in the film. But Monica has gotten me and convinced me to be on here today. That's why we're sitting beside each other. What inspired the idea of your design? Well... Um, so I really am into like Victorian style art and, um, you know, like furniture designs and like the, how they have, um, you know, the decorations and stuff, um, in their architecture and everything. Awesome. Um, and I also really love the beach. Um, so I was born in California. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. So I've like kind of. I don't know. I guess I'm just kind of like a beach person and I've always collected seashells and stuff like that. So, okay. so I just, I kind of wanted to like combine the two. Awesome. So it's one of those things that, um, you know, you integrate your personal life with your tattoo. Um, well, how do you think that your tattoo uh, applies to your personal life or your business life or your entrepreneurship life? Um, Honestly, I think the only thing that really applies is probably just the fact that it's black. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just like the color black. But um, it's kind of like my personality, I guess, in a way. It's, like, I've had a lot of people tell me, um, oh, you look so mean in your pictures. So, you know, like the color of it's black. Like, you would think, like, you know, the, the color black, it's dark and, you know. Right. So that kind of goes with that side of it. But then yes. like a seashell is more like, I guess, happy or whatever. And I'm, I'm actually a nice person, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> so um, I guess that kind of just combines the two in a way to how, my, how I'm, you know, perceived, I guess. Right. So. Well, one of the pressures on my end designing this for you is because like, and I've seen your work, your uh, music videos, uh, and your music online. And I was like a little, like, not intimidated, but I was like, oh, man, I better do a good job on this because it's <laughs> going to be aired on, like, future videos or, like, any kind of promotions you're doing. That's going to be, like, one of the main subjects that's, like, kind of visual as far as the tattoo. So I was like, okay, I better do a good job. So I 
extended that part about like the design process and like kind of like negotiated with you like how do you feel about that and I don't typically always do it mm -hmm. but like if I feel the need that like this is more of like a very cooperative or collaborative work then I reach out and was like hey how do you feel about this but like it was an interesting uh, feedback back and forth with the conversation but you know it's part of the it's part of like how I operate and like if it's very like customized and a little more in depth with like uh, especially expressive as it is especially on the chest I was like okay I need to get more uh, details and understand that if she's gonna be okay with that yeah one of the most uh, interesting questions I'm sure everybody wants to know is does your tattoo hurt okay do you want the short answer or the long answer let's hear it all <laughs> I'll let it what I guess what probably is too extreme yeah short answer yes Long answer, it's it's just some parts of it are just uncomfortable, you know, like some parts hurt, like directly in the centers, you know, specifically on this one, um, right on that bone, it does hurt, sure but yeah, but it's not unbearable, you know, um, the rest of it, it just, it's kind of, I don't want to say annoying, maybe it's like irritating a little bit. So it's I'm just sure like it's hard to talk at the same time. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's hard because on my chest, I'm like thinking about breathing yeah. and I'm like, OK, I got to breathe steady and also hold a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> That's the important part. Is like, try, I'm, in my perspective, I'm like, don't talk too much. Don't put jokes out. Don't laugh. And it's like it's kind of hard to when it's like you're talking with somebody. And I'm the kind of person who just throws a little dry joke every now and then. So, so one of our features here in Ink Therapy is to also promote other artists or their product or their service or whatever they do in their business life or artistic life. So, Monica, what uh, do you see yourself with your band doing in the next years or in the future? Well, so my ultimate goal is I uh, like millions of fans, right? You know, I want to I want to get big, you know, um, but it's not for any you know, shallow reasons or anything like that. Um, I talk about in, you know, in my lyrics, um, a lot of things that people struggle with. And I just want to be, you know, I just want to let people know, like, hey, if you're going through something, you're not alone, because I've gone through things as well. You know, I've gone through hard things. I've gone through, I mean, I could list everything, but, you know, I just want people to know, like, you're not alone. And, you know, and so that's, that's why I want to have millions of fans, because I want to, you know, I want them to know, like, hey, I care about you, you know, and there, there's somebody in this world that cares about you. And it's, it's just, it's always been something that's very important to me, because, you know, I was that kid that was always like alone and I was, you know, I grew up like that little emo kid with, <laughs> you know, a crazy life. And, um, you know, I mean, we, ex we all experienced depression. Um, some of us have gone through abuse and, um, other like issues in with life and other people and stuff. And I feel like that's important to talk about those things. And while some, musicians do talk about those which is fantastic but I want to make sure that people know that I'm not just talking about these things I actually care you know I'm, I'm trying to build a community all right so if you guys want to support Aceity uh, we have this shirt along with other merch on acetyband.com and I'm not just trying to sell you something I promise you Every penny, every dollar that you spend on merch helps us to put out more music and build the community. So even if you buy a sticker, I mean, it helps tremendously. So go to acetyband.com. So why would you choose Ink Therapy and for other potential clients in the future? Well, for potential clients, future clients, you have got to pick ink therapy because they care about you. They care about, you know, the work and, um, Nico works hard. 
I mean, he will stay up all night and work on your design and make sure that it's absolutely perfect. Um, and even just like whenever you told me about how um, you had thought, oh, well, she's going to be on camera and stuff, so I've got to make sure that this is perfect. That's That was the main um, the main thing that you said that caught me. You know, I was like, okay, this guy, he knows what he's doing and he cares. And that's what made me say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to come see you. Sweet. <laughs> well, we love having, uh, our featured artist here today, Monica Sal with a CD. Visit her website or, uh, subscribe to her channel and we'll see you on our next interview.